An incident in which a Bellevue resident had to euthanize her dog led council member Thomas Burns to introduce an ordinance that he says would prevent future attacks. If you own a dog that is under the classification of a bully breed, so that breaks down into three different breeds, um, then you would be required to have them muzzled. Um, and also we have the leash, which is about a six foot um, minimum or maximum. American Pitbull Terriers, American Staffordshire Terriers and Staffordshire Bull Terriers are considered bully breeds. Veterinary technician Lindsay Harden says those dogs have been bred to have tenacious tendencies, but it happens with all dogs. I very, very rarely had aggression from a pit bull, um, but there were lots of other breeds that I would very frequently be leery of going into a room to grab them um, because they were a lot more likely to show me aggression. While Harden says smaller dogs can also show those tendencies, Burns says it's about the severity of a possible attack. I really think, you know, it's just good to have a preventive, a preventative measure and to just take precaution so that you, we don't have a, an attack. Some Bellevue residents have criticized the ordinance, saying muzzles should be required on a case-by-case -case basis and it shouldn't be breed-specific. Others say pit bulls can cause a lot of harm. Hardin says muzzles can make a sweet dog look more aggressive than it actually is. I don't think it's something that should be used across the board um, for a lot. I mean, partly because it's not um, it's not a healthy thing to teach the dog, you know, to have to be muzzled all the time. Under the ordinance, owners can register under the Breed Ambassador Program as a way to opt out of the requirements. In Bellevue, Alyssa Curtis, 3 News Now.